Well done, Revan. I was certain the defenses of the Starforge would destroy you. But I see there is more of your old self in you than I expected. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. Once you were stronger than me, Revan. But as your apprentice, I surpassed you. The Master must always be stronger than the apprentice. That was why I betrayed you. No, I was prepared to face you, Revan. But fate presented me with a better option. I saw my opportunity and seized it. The trap set by the Jedi only hastened my decision. If they had not attacked, I would have challenged you for mastery of the Sith soon enough. I cannot deny your resilience. You survived my first betrayal thanks to Bastula's interference. You escaped the destruction of Taris, and you escaped me on the Leviathan. You even survived my attempt to destroy you with the Starforge itself. Fate and destiny have conspired to keep you alive despite all my efforts. We have been inexorably pushed to this final confrontation, Revan. I see now that this can only be settled when one of us destroys the other. Once again, we shall face each other in single combat, and the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. You continue to amaze me, Revan. If only you had been the one to uncover the true power of the Starforge, you might have become truly invincible. But you were a fool. All you saw was an enormous factory. All you ever imagined was an infinite fleet rolling forth to crush the Republic. You are blind, Revan. Blind and stupid. The Starforge is more than just a space station. In some ways, it is like a living creature. It hungers, and it can feed on the dark side that is within all of us. Look around you, Revan. See the bodies? You should recognize them from the Academy. These are Jedi who fell when I attacked Dantooine. For all intents and purposes, dead. Except for one difference. I have not let them become one with the Force. Instead, I have brought them here. The Starforge corrupts what remains of their power and transfers the Dark Taint to me. You cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Starforge. Not when I can draw upon the power of all these Jedi. And once you are beaten, I will do the same to you. You will be trapped in a terrible existence between life and death. Your power feeding me as I conquer the galaxy. <laughs> Ah. <sighs> 
on our quest for the Star Forge. I only followed in your wake. I tried to usurp your rule to steal the title of Sith Master from you. But now I understand. The destiny is yours, Revan. Not mine. You... You are Darth Revan, Lord... <laughs> Lord of the Sith. And I, I am nothing. And so it ends, as I somehow always knew it must, in darkness. lost another capital ship. It's hopeless. All Republic forces pull back. Pull back! It is too late to retreat, Admiral. The Sith Armada has cut us off. There is no escape for us now. Then the Republic is doomed.
Malik is dead. All hail the return of Darth Revan, the true Lord of the Sith. All hail Lord Revan. All hail Lord Revan. All hail Lord Revan. The Sith bow before you. You have reclaimed your rightful throne. The Jedi Order is in tatters. It is only a matter of time until your Sith minions wipe them from the face of the galaxy. The Republic fleet is decimated. The core worlds are defenseless against us. 